Hello everyone and welcome back to the Catalyst Corner. We have a great show for you today. We have a couple tickers that I grabbed some awesome dip buys on this morning. And then we have another ticker that's brand new to us in this show that I am planning on buying first thing tomorrow morning that has to do with Bitcoin. But before we get into that, guys, I read online that if you sub to this channel, it saves a puppy's life. Now, I don't know if that's true, but I read it online. So if you want to save a puppy's life, hit that subscribe button below. And if you love to slap the ass, then slap that like button below as well. But as always, if you're a market dumping little, then you can hit that dislike button. Now let's get into the show. The first ticker we're bringing to you tonight is NHMD, which is Nate's Food Company. And you're thinking, Nate's Food Company? Well, it's not really Nate's Food Company. They're transforming into Nate's Mining for Bitcoin mining. And we'll jump into that in a second in their filings. But let's take a look first at their market cap. This is a 0094 stock that has a market cap of just $4 million. The authorized shares are $1.5 billion. Outstanding is only $537 million with unrestricted of $522 million and $455 million held at the DTC. And as you can see, on September the 30th, 2021, the company executed an agreement to lease Bitcoin equipment for a term of nine months. The expected daily mining capacity of this equipment is 200 terahash, and its expected power and maintenance fees will be $12.50 per day. Let's look at the filing. And here's the Form 8K that came out on October the 1st, as you can see, actually on September the 30th, 2021. And if we scroll down, it says the exact same thing. On September 30th, the company ex executed an agreement to lease Bitcoin equipment for a term of nine months, exactly what it said in its tweet. And just yesterday, they dropped a 10K. And in that 10K, if we open that up, uh, we can go down here to item one business, which is the company is engaged in Bitcoin mining, the process by which Bitcoins are created, yada, yada. You get the picture, double zero penny stock, getting into Bitcoin mining. People are just now finding out about this stock. Let's take a look at their website. Guys, here's their brand new website. As you can see, the future of Bitcoin mining. Nate's Mining is a publicly traded NHMD Bitcoin mining company. Bitcoin mining is the process of verifying. We get all that. This is going to be huge. I'm jumping into this thing first thing tomorrow morning. Let's take a look at its chart. And here's our chart for NHMD. As you can see, I have some support lines here. I have our upward channel uh, that we're trading in between. And right in this area, the uh, September 27th, as you remember, uh, we were discussing on September the 30th, they did drop that 8K, and that is why we've probably seen this huge jump from the triple zero threes uh, all the way up here in two days to the double zero six sevens. We did have a pullback, and as you can see, we've just kind of been grinding its way through. It had a big run up to one penny, and we get to that uh, psychological resistance, and it absolutely just had a hard time breaking that. Uh, fell all the way back down here to the double zero sevens, and then as you uh, seen today, we did have that 10K drop. And we actually had a very large run today. So we ended up 20% in the green. We are getting into this ascending triangle here. And so I could see this thing tomorrow with more eyes getting onto it, absolutely blasting through a penny. If not, we're going to continue to consolidate in this area. And I feel like anytime we get into this closer area here, we're eventually going to take off and run. So NHMD, I have on my uh, sites for in the morning. I'm going to keep a close eye on it. If this thing breaks the one penny mark, this thing is going to run. I'm going to get in early. Uh, so take a look at it. If you can get a pullback, that's even better. Uh, I'm not certain we're going to have a pullback. Uh, if we do, then I'll be in early and probably going to lose a little money on it. But this thing is going to run, so I'm not too worried about it. Keep this on your watch list. Our next ticker we're going to cover, we have covered a couple times on this channel, PJET. I was able to grab this thing sitting at the support level of two cents today, and it's been riding that pretty much all week. As you can see from OG Tigress, please give her a follow uh, at OG underscore Tigress. She does all the DD on uh, this particular ticker, and pretty much today says on cruise control until it's not. Current price per share, 2.03 cents. Updated float, 722 million, which has not changed. This, once again, is another low floater. Today's volume, only 10 million. Yesterday's volume, 12 million. We have had super low volume in the OTC this week. I expect that to pick up Thursday and Friday. And the 10-day volume is 32 million. Accumulation is almost maxed out, revealing the new business direction before the end of October. So this has a huge catalyst coming up. And the question is, what is that new business? Because we have hashtagged here, Modus and Revolt. As we discussed last time, 
The expected merger here is IQST plus ALYI. They're in a joint venture with MODIS. The expectation is that PJET is actually going to merge with MODIS. And you may be asking, who is MODIS? MODIS is in this joint venture with ALYI for electric motorcycle manufacturing backed by new legislation. And if we scroll down on, on this particular article, this will instantly transform the motorcycle assembly sector in Kenya into one of the biggest private sector employers. The annual demand of motorcycles in Kenya is approximately 180,000 annually, while in East Africa, it's 680,000. If we tap into this low-hanging fruit exponentially, we will naturally become a hub of motorcycle manufacture and will eventually penetrate the entire African market through the African Continental Free Trade Agreement. MODIS has other things going for them besides this. They have multiple patents out there. So if PJET is actually able to merge with MODIS, this could be a huge, huge ordeal and could send PJET flying. PJET stock price has been holding very strong over the past few weeks, and this is one of the reasons I wanted to pick it for today because it's holding in a very good support zone right now and somewhere you could actually buy pretty easily tomorrow for a great price. Let's take a look at this chart. Here's a chart for PJET. As you can see, we ended the day at 2.05 cents. I think I was able to get this at the 2.01. Uh, it did drop into the point, uh, the 1.9s, and I did miss that because I'd already bought in. I didn't think it would actually break that two cents uh, support line. It did break it, but briefly, and then jumped back up and then held this mark here at the uh, 2.05. As you can see in their previous videos, this was the upward channel we were trading in. Had an absolute beautiful breakout. Uh, got up here to the 2.44 range uh, and had a bounce all the way back down. Uh, this was when a lot of stocks were just selling off, just to be honest with you. Uh, FBCD, iFan, a bunch of them just had a tank. Uh, and then once it got back down here into the 12s, this thing absolutely took off again. We had a huge gap up ran all the way back up to that resistance, and now we've had another nice pullback. And what I'm seeing is that we're trading within this channel, and we're at the bottom of this channel. So I feel like right here at the two cent range is an absolute beautiful buy for PJET. Uh, if that news comes out at the end of October that there is a merger happening with MODIS or some kind of joint venture with them, uh, this thing could absolutely take off and run. I expect PJET to be a super hot stock going into the end of October. The last ticker we're going to cover tonight is APTY. I've covered this ticker multiple times, and the reason I do is because it just continues to grind in this upward channel. Just a super strong stock. It had a, a huge buy or sell off today uh, because there was a, a scare that APTY had to redo its filings to become pink current. They've been waiting on pink current. So a lot of people got scared this morning and dumped this thing. I jumped in and picked up an awesome dip buy at the 1.8 cent mark. That thing ended up closing green today. It, it dropped 15% and closed green. That's how strong this stock is. They have a stable coin coming out uh, that's backed by gold and the dollar uh, in December. That is a huge catalyst. Uh, the filings actually dropped today and the attorney letter dropped today after they just announced yesterday they had to redo filings. This thing could see pink current even by Friday. Uh, so APTY is moving forward. OTC Markets is backed up, obviously. Let's take a look at some of the things they're tweeting out. Uh, here, obviously, is the another step closer. If you go to that, that's their financial report uh, and the uh, attorney letter that dropped today. Uh, some of you asked about the attorney letter. Yes, there will be a replaced on the OTC Markets. That all got done today, and that's what the scare uh, occurred this morning when they found that out yesterday and everybody dropped this thing. When this thing hits pink current, we could run from the 2.18 mark, which I believe we closed that today. We'll look at the chart. We're going to hit three cents, and if that stable coin actually does come out in December, we may be flying all the way to 10 cents on this stock. So all three of these tickers we've covered tonight are absolute bangers. Let's take a look at the chart for APTY. Here's a chart for APTY. What I love about covering APTY is I never have to draw any more resistance or support lines. I literally, since I covered this thing back here in the 1.4s, it has just continuously been grinding up. Uh, the last couple of days, as you can see, we continue to hold this high uh, resistance line. It did have that panic sell today. And as I said, I got in, I think, at the 186 mark, uh, which was perfect. Uh, we ended up closing once again at the 2.19. Uh, keep an eye on this. If this thing turns pink, we did get the attorney letter today. If we get pink current, that could be a catalyst that sends this thing uh, flying. As you can see way back here, we did actually hit 2.5 cents, 5.6. 
Uh, so I expect we're going to be testing those highs very soon. Uh, when the spare coin comes out in December, another catalyst coming for APTY. A lot of long holders on this stock and a lot of support out there. I'm proud to be in uh, the APTY army uh, because, in my opinion, this is going to be a banger stock going into the end of October, November, and even into December. Now, guys, if you enjoyed the video, please drop a like and subscribe below. For those of you who have stuck around to the end of the show, please, in the comments, just write what state you're from. People will get into the comments and not have a clue what we're talking about, but I want to know the OGs out there that are sticking to the end of these videos. Write in the comments below what state you're from, and I appreciate you watching the show. Please drop a like and subscribe, and until next time, we'll see you on the next show.